Hey, can you guys hear me? Hello? Oh, can you see it? Hey, Tinkerbug, what is your, what is your first name, dear? Hey, Eileen. Hey, Jen. Okay, great. Yeah, the, these are the, my, my third set of stamps that are coming out soon. I love them, which means these will also be stencils coming out soon, too. Oh, yeah, chai. Okay, I remember now. It's all coming back. Hey, Pam. Yeah, so you'll recognize Dangles. And this is a form of the Outback stamp. Um, this is going to be a new out, uh, stencil, Outback River, this one's called. It's got the water sign in there. And some hand-drawn poppies that I did. These are multiple stamps of the same thing. I just got my, my wooden ones in. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Eileen. Hi, Dorothy. I just got my uh, wooden ones set in the other day and one sheet. And they'll be available soon. But I was just playing on a piece of deli paper. And, um, yeah, I love these uh, pictograph things. I just drew those. I had a, I had a paper that I use in some of my collages. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Oh, before I get started too deep in this, I want to remember to make a disclaimer. If there's anybody that's watching the recording, once I put this up on YouTube, and you don't like the Ustreams because they take too long and there's too much chatter for you, this is one of those you streams you should probably skip to another video. So, just saying, had a complaint. Somebody didn't like the chatter on my YouTubes from my you streams, but I don't think she understands what a you stream is. So, oh well, we're going to have fun here anyway. Um, Chai, I would get it. Yep, there you go. Sam's online. 5,000 sheets of that, the square 12 by 12 that's not folded like this five 1,000 sheet boxes for like 16 bucks. And I think it's free shipping. And I believe they will sell it to you even if you're not a Sam's member. Do you live in the US, Shy? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you talk so much. Actually, it's me talking so much. I try to, when I'm doing this, I try to remember, like if I see a question, to try to repeat it for those that are watching uh, later, you know, that they'll um, have an idea of what I'm talking about. But I don't always remember to do that because I'm watching the camera. I'm watching the com two computer screens. I'm trying to watch what the hell I'm doing. Eh, whatever. Can't make them all happy. So, um, what I started to say before all that mumbo jumbo was there's this paper that I buy. Let's see if I can find a piece of it. Of course, I can't now. And I'm trying to show you something. But anyway, it's a pictograph paper. Eileen, uh, no, it was Lou Jean that knows what I'm talking about. Here we go. I got a hunk, I think. Is this it? It's this. And I kind of like took my lead from that and was inspired by that and kind of drew my own drawings. Lord only knows what they really mean if somebody can translate those. <laughs> Glad, are there any cavemen on the stream? Let me know if I made a faux pas in any of these with the translations. <laughs> hey, Cheryl. Hey, Pamela. So I don't, I don't have a clue what I'm going to do today. I really don't. I wanted to do something because I haven't been on in so long. My niece's wedding was last Saturday. Oh, my God. If you guys are friends of mine on Facebook or follow my Facebook Inky Obsessions page, um, 
I put a link up there to the for her photographer's website and she's got a lot of their pictures up there now oh my god it was perfect and she was not just because she's my niece but she was the most gorgeous bride she's so sweet and so humble it was really perfect and she's the daughter of the sister-in-law that I lost four years ago so she did this without her mom and her um, my brother her dad it was really really a special day so um, it could be Eileen <laughs> it could be porn I know I know A journal cover with polymer clay. Hey, you know, funny you should say that because I just did a class with Laurie uh, Micah at the Queen's Inc. a couple weeks ago. And, oh, did you see them, Mania? Aren't they pretty? I was thinking about actually doing a collage, Jen. If I was, like, left to my own device, I thought that's what I would do. But I will show you um, something that I started in at the Queen's Inc., I didn't get to finish it that day, but um, we did Laurie Micah's class with a journal cover uh, covered with um, polymer clay. So I got this little cool little ledger book from Etsy, and I forget the nice lady that sent it, but I told her I needed it for a class, and she sent it to me really fast. And it was only like 12 bucks, I think. Really cute, and it's old. I don't know how old it is, but it's not... So decrepit that it's falling apart either it's certainly usable um but i they had this little banner in here i thought it was they she said to bring a small book like about this big and of course this is the one i ended up with and i thought man i'm gonna have to make a lot of these tiles to cover this whole thing and my friend ellen vargo was in the class with me no sorry it wasn't ellen it was donna walsh good lord um and she said, why don't you just do this center little section here? I thought, you are brilliant. So, here's, I'll show you kind of what we did. I got them in my little bag yet. Um, so we made like a shrine piece. Oh, my hat broke off. Oh, damn, I'm going to have to glue that back. But anyway, this was my shrine piece that we were going to put up at the top. And I put a little key hole and a key and this one eyeball thing with wings on it right and that's going to go up in here somewhere so it hangs off the top my damn hat broke off so here are the tiles that i made and of course there's too many but the more the merrier i say um and it was so cool because we could use um where the hell's the end of that hat? Bag on it. I really like that little pointed hat, too. I'll have to make something up. Oh, there it is. Hello, there's the point of my hat. So, see there, her little hat goes on. Her one eyeball, eyeballed self right there. I will glue that back on but we made all these tiles and what was really cool is everybody got all like four or five different colors of clay in their kit and she said don't worry about what color clay you're getting it won't matter and I got all these earth tones which eh, it's okay but you guys know I'm that purple turquoise freak and the girl next to me and the one across here they all had purple and turquoise I thought damn it if I'd have been here early earlier I could have sat in my right seat but anyway it didn't matter because her techniques you colorize everything like here's one of my stamps in the clay and then i colorized it and i put some gold stuff on it but that's the undulate stamp but look how cool that little tile is and these were some other stamps that we did so i've got my turquoise in there we did some um what's that called um for leaf silver leaf and gold leaf right Here's one of my, um, this was, you can see it was green and white clay I had left over. And I used my um, concentric circle stamp. I don't know if you can see that on this camera. And then I pressed in this spiral metal uh, paper clip that fit right in the grooves of the concentric circles. And it's, how flipping cool is that? I love that. 
So we made all these different size things. They're gilded and they're foiled. And I was gonna put a little knob, maybe that or this here for like a handle to open it up. And so you just kind of make a little, you kind of put everything together like a little puzzle. However, you kind of want to one here. I didn't have it all laid out yet, obviously. Maybe that's what I should do tonight is glue this damn thing together. There's another one that might go in there. And she had a really good tip of taking the edges and um, just cutting these skinny little edges and still, you know, baking those so they're hard. And then you can put them in like these little spots like this. And we're doing a mosaic, so it's like if you needed a little hole to fill in here, you could take a piece of this and lay it in there to fill in that hole a little bit, you know, to make it kind of tight. And then um, she had some really cool ideas about, um, since you're not going to grout it, right, like regular grout, I'm all, I'm all thumbs. Well, you're not going to grout it, you know, with regular grout like you would a regular mosaic. But you, what you can do is, um, hey Pam, and Queen Pam, we got th we do have three Pams. Very confusing. It's hard enough for me with one Pam. But anyway, you just kind of take all these tiles that you made and try to put them together and uh, cover your book or part of your book, whatever you want to do, and glue those puppies down. And some of them were really pretty the way they came out. Um, I'm really pleased with mine, too. I'm not saying I don't like mine, but... Let's see, put a little something there. And maybe a little... A little something, something. Of course, you can cut these up, too. But some of these, with the colors that we put them on, and the mica that we rubbed on them, and some of the primary elements, and the... Um, the gold foil and the silver foil. Some of them came out really cute. I don't know if you guys can see the the shimmer on there. But anywho, that's kind of kind of what the how that went. Um, this one's really cool color too. And see the color of that. Um, but that's on green and white mushed up clay together. You, it doesn't matter what color you have the way if you do it with her technique. So you just kind of do, you know, something like that. And I probably put a little piece of this over here. And then once you glue this down and it hardens, if you have any little teeny weeny um, little areas like this little crease in here or wherever, she had, um, whose class it was um laurie mica she is the queen of polymer clay for this kind of stuff but her last name is m-i-k-a m-i-k-a if anybody's going to create any of the create art retreats um she's going to be there and she's teaching uh not this class but very similar ones but isn't that cool and it was really not i mean polymer clay is not that hard to work with and um, so I just love that. I just have to glue it down. But anyway, what I was starting to say, um, like see these little these little creases right in here? She would fill those up with um, glossy accents and then take those teeny tiny little seed beads that you can hardly see and pour them in there and let them all stick to that. And then you have whatever gold, silver, whatever color um, beaded grout. So it was really very cool, the ones that got finished and were able to do that. I did not. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was, a, that was a recent thing that I did. I thought that was so cool. But it's so cool when I see you, a couple of people posted their pictures using my stencils um, and stamps on uh, Facebook. And I was like, I'm skimming by Facebook. I was like, oh, my God, that's mine. That's so cool to see those. I appreciate you guys putting them out there. So anyway, this was one thing that I was messing with. That's kind of a cool looking one too. I don't know how it shows up on camera. And again, it's on that green and white mix of clay. Most of these are. Some of them are on, um, oh hell, most of them are 
Well, some of them are on just a beige color, I think. There, there you go. Like this one here. You have no idea, but that's on beige clay. So, how cute are they? And they're all, you know, so different. And I did, you know, like a bigger piece of clay and then just, and then just cut it up. I had all different kind of stamps stamped all over it. Cut it up. Colorized it. Baked that puppy. And there you have it. So, let me get this stuff out of the way and where the hell's my little point of my hair it is. Mm. But I love my little one-eyed wonder there. Ooh. Everybody was laughing at my shrine. Mm -hmm. Secretly, they wanted it. You know how it is. Alright, let me put these away. Yeah, Perlex and all that kind of stuff. Are they heavy when they get on? No, they're, they're very light. They're really light. Polymer clay is surprisingly light once it's baked. And I haven't used it that much. I've done a couple classes a couple years ago and then really didn't touch it since then, but I am going to be doing more of these. You can bet your bippy on that one. So, um, so yeah. So those are my new, my next set of stamps for the latest ones coming on there. Hey, coach. Uh, it was a, uh, I put the clay on um, an old ledger book, the cover of a ledger book. I think there's a way to get rid of the ads. Somebody, Eileen might know. Um, I believe you have to download Chrome and use that as your browser and then there's some kind of an ad block app or something that you download. Um, here's something else I was messing around with. I was watching YouTube and I was watching these abstract acrylic artists play and there was one I really liked and I can't remember her name now. That's terrible. I should remember that. Um, and I think she's German, but she kind of talks German and English back and forth. Um, and I tried to like mimic her style to get the hang of it. <laughs> and I use the word mimic loosely because hers are gorgeous. Mine are okay. I, I, I'm not, you know, I won't throw it out or anything, but it's not my, um, Patty, I'm making your wash tape technique donate to your kids. Oh, yeah, Anita, that's awesome. I think that's great. Oh, by the way, I've enabled links, so if you guys want to share a link to your own blog or to your own YouTube channel or to a product or whatever, feel free to do that. Here's another one that I did, because I always like that orange and turquoise together. I was trying to get a lot of depth and texture like she did. I got a little bit more than I thought I would, but I still need a little practice. On the clay, um, the, we used all kind of stuff on the clay. Primary elements and all sorts of pigments. Um, we used uh, uh, gold leaf, silver leaf, um, what else did we use on there? Any, any kind of that pigment uh, stuff you can use. I've had a stroke, I'm trying to read. And then this one, I didn't, of course, they're my colors, but I didn't, this one doesn't grab me at all. I think I made gesso and reused the canvas. But I was just playing one night and I felt like slapping some paint and that's what I did. I slapped some paint. Here's the, here's the outcome right here. So let me get these out of my way. So what are we going to do tonight? When you stamp the clay, did you protect your stamps? Nope. Shoved them right in there. They came right out.
you don't really have to press them that hard if you get the clay worked worked in really good um, she said some people very lightly spray the stamps with water um, we didn't do that in class but she said that's an option that some people do um, So what do we want to do? Uh, maybe we'll do a collage. I haven't done a collage for a while. Um, get me a large jar of matte medium. Uh, let's see here. Where the hell did I, I reorganize? Can't find anything. Where the hell did I put my paper? Oh, oh here it is in the paper department. Hang on. Oops. Well. Where the hell did I put it? <laughs> um. <laughs> well, isn't that interesting? That's my Yuko. Those are my palettes. All those pads of watercolor paper I have, I got no flipping idea what I did with them. Chat amongst yourselves, will you? Mojo, what did I do with my paper? Did you hide it? Did you take mommy's paper? That sounds like something you do. Yes, it does. What the hell? All right. Drawing, drawing. Watercolor. Now, this is a weird size, but I guess I'll just use this. I found a pad of 12 by 18. I got a bunch of, like, 14 by 16 sizes. This feels a little flimsy. Hey, bag. Did you come down here with Mojo? Did you come down to stay with Mommy? Did you take my paper? No, seriously, did you? Huh? Well, watch out, Mo. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Thank you. Okay. Well, that beats everything I've seen. The little tiny jelly plates. You mean like these two? Ah, how flipping cute are they? I couldn't stand it, had to have them. They are so cute and they're, they're, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but feel, felt like I had to have them to complete my set. Oh. Okay, let us, let me grab a few colors of paint. I'm reading. Not another stroke. Um, all right, well, you know what? We're going to run with what we got and... That's what's, that's what we're gonna do. Let me grab a little bit of paint. Oh, what color am I feeling tonight?
just rooting through the paint drawer, making a few selections. start with this. There we go. A couple brushes. That's my favorite. <laughs> Can you tell? My favorite matte medium brush. And a couple brushes for paint. Okay. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it. Um, I feel like I need a different color in there, though, to brighten that up. It's kind of blah for me. Dina in there, maybe. That's not going to go. Maybe a little pop of red somewhere. You never know. And I don't need all that much paint anyway. Oh, it's cut. It's tough to cut. Oh, if you're talking about cutting a jelly plate. Oh, sweet Moses. I did. I had that 12 by 14 one when they first come out. I don't think I'm going to make them for the smallest jelly plates. Um, I haven't talked to Sherry about that yet. I do have some designs for the round one, though. Um, I don't know whether we're going to go into production with them ever, but... Um, Save up your pennies because I think we're going to have a launch of another set of stencils sometime in August, it appears. And that's an estimate, but that's uh, pretty close. And um, it's going to be probably another 30-some designs. And a lot of them you've seen or will see in my next set of stamps. So the next, so I'm going to, I'm going to create New Jersey. I think everybody probably knows that in uh I leave the 9th of July, and Sherry got me a table um, at Create to sell my stencils. So she's shipping all the stuff there, and she also said that I could use I could use a corner of the table to sell my stamps, which I thought was extremely generous of her to let me do that since it's all branded for you know for the stencils and everything. But since the designs match, it's kind of cool. So I will be selling all three of my designs. Um, at uh, Create, and when I get back from Create, I'll put the third one up on Etsy. Hopefully, I don't have any left over, and I'll reorder. Oh, just saying, but um, I'll give you a little peek, Eileen, if I can figure out what the hell I did with them. Oh, <laughs> ah, I don't know what I did with it. I cut it up already. Hang on, I cut it up already but I have it in here and here is what they're gonna look like oh thanks Kim they're wedding nails for my niece's wedding and I'm going to a wedding in Pennsylvania it's Saturday so those are the what the new ones are gonna look like so you've seen the dangle stencil you've seen this stencil uh, you've seen the tribal squares and the pentagons and this is an Outback, uh, you know, the one Outback stamp that I have. I have like a series of the Outback design. So that's Outback Star, I think. And this is Outback River. Um, and just a line of dots off of one of the other stencils. This one's called Squares Squared. And this, I think, is Discus. And actually, I love that little stamp. It makes a cute little circle. Um, but that's what the third set's going to look like. So there you go. 
I cheated. But only for you guys. Yes, but do you... But have you done alcohol ink paintings on tile? As a matter of fact, Anita, I have. Um, not a lot on Yupo. I played with Yupo a couple days. I didn't really do anything permanent on you. Well, I... Where's that one thing? But I did do um, a bunch of ceramic tiles, actually, and some of them are um, at work in my cube along a little edge around my cube. But hang on, I just happen to have a box of them here. Uh. Oh, Lord. It's getting a little heavy on me. I'll show you a few of them. You don't have to go through the whole thing. I'm live. <laughs> so, um, these are blank ones to do. Uh, so, um, this one I really like. And one thing I'll mention is if you saw some of the ones that I've done before, I stamped them with white ink over it. See the script on there? Um, and over time, I guess against the alcohol, that's lightened up. That was really vibrant white. And actually, do you remember this one? That's my phone case, but I like that tile so much. When it was still, uh, when it was first done, I took a picture of it and I've uploaded it. I made a phone case, my iPhone, my iPad skin. Um, I've used this on a couple different things. But see how much whiter the text is on that one? That was when it was new. But see the text on this one? That was done like within a day of the of the other one, but after time over time, even though these are sealed, that white ink lightened up. So that's one of them that I did. Here's another one. That was just um, black and what the hell's the name of that color? Black and uh, plum, wild plum. That's all, that was just those two colors that were used, and then I stamped over it. I'll just show you some of the better ones. I don't want to bore you. There's more of those darker colors that I made. They came out kind of cool. Another one with text stamped on it. That one's kind of dark. That one's kind of cool. And I stamped on that one too. I don't know if you guys can see that with this camera. It's not that great. Question, what is Adirondack ink? Adirondack ink is, um, it's a stamp pad ink. Um, it's permanent. Ink. Hang on, I'll show you. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Hang on. Which one's that around back? Yeah, here we go. It's pigment ink. And it comes in a pad. And you can get the reinkers. But these are alcohol ink, not Adirondack. They're Al Ranger alcohol inks. And the little tiny one ounce bottles. Yeah, there's a couple different Facebook groups. Here's a larger tile. I really like that one. I don't know. This camera, the webcams don't have a zoom on, at least not one that I could find when I bought mine. But if you could see that close up, that is really cool looking. The way the silver and gold I put in there uh, interacted with the blending solution. It's really granulated through there. Really, it looks cool. This one I kind of screwed up, but I kept going and raked a straw through it two different ways. Hello, Patty, I'm here. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> I will do that. There's another one. There's another one. That one's kind of cool. That's got copper in it. I don't know if there's glare on there, if you guys can see that. That one's pretty, that one's pretty cool. I like that one. Eh, not wowing me. I tried stamping on some other ones with the um, with black permanent ink, and it didn't really kind of work that well. And what do we have over here? These are just some long skinny ones I did. What's cool about this is if you get one that you totally screw up and you hate it, you wipe that puppy off and start over. See where I had stuff on there? Just wipe the surface off and start over. And you got yourself a new tile. And what's this one? 
That one's kind of odd. I stamped over top of that one too. I don't know if you can see it. And a little one with musical stamps. The black seemed to hold up better there for that one for some reason. This one was kind of cool. But it, the ink is, it's kind of getting chewed off of that one too. I don't know if that was an odd color combination, but I liked it the more I looked at it. And people ask me, what are you going to do with all these tiles? I have no flipping idea. No plan. I just had to do them. That has a dragonfly stamp on it, if you can see it. Yeah, I sealed these with a spray, Anita. Um, it was a clear gloss Krylon spray um, that I sealed them with. And that one I stamped in turquoise ink, peacock feathers over that orange. I don't know if you can see that that good. Hey, Donna. Hey, Janet. So there you go. There's my alcohol ink tiles that I have left here. I always kid him and tell him I'm going to tile his half of the garage when he's away. <laughs> All right. Let's do something. Oh, crap. Luckily, I'm covering this paper up. A little dirty. All right. Uh, no plan. No earthly idea what I'm going to do tonight. But I'm going to get rid of this and start out on a clean one. Just because I want to. over there my friend all right okay I'm trying to channel Jane Davies are you with me Jane I don't think she's here <laughs> you lost me I'm here I see you you don't see me okay let's see what we got here I just want to throw some paint down. This isn't normally how I start doing this. Not that I've done that many that I actually have a process, but I'm just starting something new tonight. I'm winging the whole thing. Because that's me, I'm a winger. Did somebody um, live close to one another? Was that a Pam and Pam? Is that what I'm seeing or hearing? Okay. Here's to not knowing what I'm doing. And we're off. I'm just going to throw some paint down in little blocks. I might overlap. I might not. I'm going to overlap. <laughs> just to get some kind of base down there. It's going to get covered up mostly. Some might peek out. So that's why I put a little something something down there. I'll keep going on the green since I got green in my brush. But I'm not going to go into the orange because that is going to give me uh, baby poop brown. Go artist girl. Hey, yeah, um, Jamie, I enabled the links on put your blog, your what, your YouTube channel out there. Share it all. I love it. I say the more the more YouTube stuff anybody can find, the better. I learned so much stuff on YouTube, more than anywhere else, probably. Oh, let's see. Maybe a little turquoise in the middle. There, maybe. What did you do in your latest one, Jamie? I didn't see the latest one. I've been crazy busy with this wedding and stuff. Yeah, guys, share your share your links for your blogs and your channels and stuff. 
that does not bother me or upset me one bit. That's why I enable the link so that everybody can do that. Miko! Jamie's videos are very funny. If you guys haven't, artist, poet, girl, APG Jamie, she's a hoot. Um, where's my little, my little inky binky? I'll have to use some paper towels. I remember seeing that uh, the title Jamie of that so I'll have to go watch that later tonight I love this orange color orangey yellow color it's um just a cheap one it's called yellow deep master's touch I get it over at um, Hobby Lobby about four bucks for a tube I guess but I really like the color I'm getting being converted all you green people and I never liked well, I, was ne I shouldn't say I didn't like orange. I was never really an orange person. I can't really wear orange. I have too much red in my skin. I look like some kind of a freak if I wear orange. Plus, I have a good tan, but I can't tan anymore. Um, but um, I have come to love orange. And now I'm going over in the green side, i got to tell you. Yes, I'm going on the green side. And I don't just mean my recycling habits. I mean... The green jean side. Jean's not here tonight. She went to the movies with her sister. But she'll know we were thinking about her when she sees the YouTube. Oh, Eileen, that's right. You're another one, aren't you? You little rascals. All right, hang on. Let me... Um, something up to dry this a little bit. And then I'm going to start slapping some stuff around. Hey, gun! <laughs> oh, purple teal. I, I know. Every time I go to reach for something, it's purple teal. I'm trying to get out of the box tonight. No shame. We don't we don't judge. We just share. Hey Judy. Thanks for joining. I'm just going to play around with the collage tonight. I just started, actually. Had a little show and tell for some other stuff and rambling on. Just drying this up now. This orange is taking a while to dry. The rest of it's dry. I know it's the last color I put down, but it didn't take that long. Hi, Lynn. Yes, you're on the chat. I see you. Oh, Jen's jewelry is really cool. Hey, Joyce.
Well, that's dry enough. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we got going here. In my collage drawer. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, this is a piece I brayered off. Look at that on there. That's kind of cool. Oh my gosh, they were, it was really beautiful pictures for the wedding. The photographer was awesome, but she had good material to work with, I gotta tell you. Let's see, grab a couple of pieces of something. It's gonna match. That might go. I love the way I did my little drawers here, I gotta tell you. It's very, very handy to have it separated by color like I did. What kind of paints are these? It's kind of a mixture. I just grabbed for colors tonight. I've got some of the cheap Master's Touch acrylic that I get at Hobby Lobby, some Liquitex Basics, um, Amsterdam P uh, PBO. This isn't a PBO iridescent. This is just a dark green. Um, I got a couple Dina Wakeleys out here that I haven't used yet. Oh, it was really a fun wedding. And it was, it was really special because, well, we had a couple tributes to my sister-in-law, Janine, that was the bride's mom that we lost four years ago. So we did those, if you saw the videos, we did um, the bride. That's her, that's Chelsea's decision on the bridesmaid's dress color. It was a beautiful color over turquoise. And, um, yeah, we, um, she did a butterfly release uh, little ceremony at the at the yacht club for um, for her mom. It was very very touching. Um, but it was it was a very emotional day at times, but never for long because it was just so much fun. Um, you couldn't help but have a ball. I'm just trying to pull pieces out of here that I might use with this now. Nope. Maybe. I haven't used any of these in a collage yet, so I'm gonna I wanna pull some of this stuff, this these tapes that I made in. Well, then we'll see how that goes. And maybe a little bit of this. And what else we got here? Gotta get in my hot drawer. My hot colors. Here we go. Ooh, that might be too hot. Or maybe not. Might throw a little sliver of that in there. Are those washi tape strips? They are my um what did I call this? Collage washi tape. I did a I did a, a stream on it and then uploaded it, um, Jerry. It's I did it on full sheet labels, and I collaged them and then I cut them in strips. Um, and it's it's really fun to do and it's easy to do. Um, and then I stamped over them and cut those puppies up. But there's a video you can find on YouTube on my channel, Patty Parish. Remember, Parish is two R's, and. Um, but I did a I did a stream that I uploaded on these. Several people have made them. They've showed me what they've made on the, on Facebook. It was really cool. Yeah, two, two something. Don't like that one. Okay, let's see. I got a little piece of this stuff left. It doesn't look right. Don't like it on there. I like it, but not on there. Yep, that's what it is. 
If you saw that video, that's what it is. I would love to be able to do something like that, Miko, to get together somehow, somewhere, someday with a bunch of people. Um, I think it was Eileen. Was it Eileen? We were talking about that sometime. It said about the um, uh, the Mariner's Museum. Wasn't that you I was talking to? Or was that somebody else? Okay, Charlie. Thanks for trying. Mixed media convention. There you go, girl. I might be able to pop that in there somewhere. All right, that's enough to start with, don't you think? Okay. Just start slapping this crap down. Somewhere, somehow. I love this. That was, I was doing, um, oh, I know what I was doing. For my, you know, guys know I'm getting published. Hallelujah. Um, and cloth, paper, scissors. And I was doing my submission for that. And I was jelly printing some fabrics. And I had too much paint on the plate. Shocker, I know. And I braired it off. And that's how it came out. And I thought, oh, look at you, lover. I'm keeping you. <laughs> a whole nother country. You're way out there in Texas. Oh yeah, it's going to get some red and orange. I got some down here. We're going to get in there. But this, I know I'm going to want this to show in the end, so I might save that until later. Start with something a little easier, maybe. I don't know. Let's just start going. What's the worst that can happen? This has those Elaine Vargo stamps. I'm Elaine. What the hell am I saying? Ellen Vargo, one of my bestest art friends in the whole wide world. Um, that's one of her sets of stamps. I showed you these got these before, the scratchy ones. Can you see my blurring off video? I won't waste a drop of my paint. I will check it out. Okay. I don't like to see that white on the edge. And I know better than to rip it that way, but I do it every time, just about. Okay, here we go. Slapping the matte medium. Where will you end up, my little lover? Too much, too little, maybe right down the middle, kind of mixing all those. How about right there? I don't know why, but that feels like the right place to put it. Isn't that weird? Do you ever watch a collage video and as somebody's moving it around like that, say, oh, oh, right there, right there. And damn if they don't drop it there. It's like it's, everybody knows that's where it should be. So if you don't agree with me on this one, yeah proper way to rip, you kind of, well, I don't know that there is a proper way, but if you, I can't tell which way the grain goes, but if I rip this and pull it towards me, it's going to show that white, but if I pull it away, it won't. It's got to do something with the grain, but I'll be damned if I know what it is exactly. I'm sure someone on here smarter than me will be able to tell you that. I'll just get a couple of pieces of this in here while I'm doing this. Oops, see, I did it again. Woo! All right, I'm telling you. Tension span of a gnat. And I did it again. Oh, well, it'll get covered up. Trust me. Something will get slapped over it. Get off of there. Mm 
Oh, Lord, I'm humming like I'm down here by myself. I'm a hummer. <laughs> when I'm down here by myself, I'm just a humming away. So pardon my humming. <laughs> oh, let's see. What else do I have here? Another green piece. Give me something orange. Did it ass backwards again. I'm telling you. Lord knows I am not the brightest bulb on the tree at times, or ever, maybe. Wine country man, that's got to be my buddy Jim. Is that Jim? that meant the intersection of those colors for some reason. <laughs> Jim is a new subscriber to me and a new customer buying my stamps and following me on Facebook and YouTube and here now. Yes, we have a man in the house. This one I'm going to cut. Let's see. Get a little bit of that orange in there. I just, I didn't know what to do today, so I thought I'd just slap around a collage. You've come into a very fun, nice group of women, Jim. You'll feel welcome. Look at you. Where are you going to go? Right there? I don't know why, but that's where you're going. Right there. Collage is so easy and fun because if you screw it up, you just slap something else on top of it. All right. Not yet for that one. Um... I don't think I want to go to these yet. Do I? Maybe a little one. Ooh, right there, maybe. Yeah, now the, the tricky part of this stuff is to peel that puppy. There we go. Look at you and self stick. <laughs> Put a little lot on top just so, just because I can. Ooh, I like that. And let's see what else we got here. You know what? I do need more ready yellowy stuff, don't I? Uh, Sandra, hi. Um, Hi, Sandy. I, you got a jelly place. Is it another video of mine? Maybe running on another window? I don't know. Yeah, I know, Pam. That's what I'm going for. Some ready orange stuff. That would be in my hot papers drawer. There's one of those. How about that? Maybe. No, it's got that purpley color in it. That's no good. Uh, let's see. Mm, that's too brown. Too browny. hunk of that might come in handy, but that's rather large. Huh. 
Huh, I don't, does anybody know why people are having trouble with the audio uh, repeating? Jim, what uh, browser are you using? I'm under, I understand that Chrome is probably the better one to use. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Pam, about having two windows open and something else. Some musical person. That's probably one of Jean's videos. <laughs> Come here, babe. Babe's upstairs crying. Dave's working tonight, so she's, Mojo's under my desk, where he always is. And uh, Babe's up there crying. I mean, she wants Mojo to come up there. Because she doesn't want to come down here. Mm. Oh, rascal. Doesn't feel right there. Come here, babe. Come and see Mama. Come and see Mama. Come on. That's a big girl. Come on. Come and see Mama. What a good girl. Yeah, she's a nice little girl. There she is. There's my good girl. Yeah. Mojo's quiet under the desk. Babe's yapping. As per usual. She said, Mommy, don't talk bad about me. I'm right here. <laughs> I box myself in a corner. Let me turn this puppy around. See what I see this way. Hey, Dixie. <laughs> Maybe down there for now. That's got white on the edge, but I will take care of that in another layer. Hey, Dixie, how you doing? Thanks for joining. I noticed you're going all vertical, horizontal versus random. Um, yeah, I mean, even, uh, you mean rather than going diagonally? I'm just cutting this up for future usage. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Not working for me. Taking a break and reading the screen. <laughs> oh, somebody lost a kitty cat. Oh, you know what I want? Let's do some of this.
this stuff is the hardest stuff to tear, but it gives it a really cool jaggedy end edge to it. If you like that sort of thing. <laughs> Sheesh. I hate it when the paper's stronger than I am. Lordy. Get rid of that. Get rid of that little straight end there. Let's see, where do you want to go? I'm going to put you, I think, right there for now. Yeah, I love this paper. I When I went to Chicago in May for work, of course, I went to the mothership, as we all know, Dick Blick's flagship store, and uh, I got a number of large pieces of this and a few of the 12 by 12s of this pattern because it's one of my faves. See that raggedy edge you get with that? It kind of looks almost like torn fabric. I kind of like it. Hi, Tina. Did Jim make it back on? There he is. Jim's back. I will be using stamps. Yep, I'm going to do a layer of, um, maybe throw some more paint over some of the stuff I might not like as much, and maybe more collage, and uh, probably some stamps. Hey, Queen Team! Oh, <laughs> yeah, maybe the other one was in your head, Jim. <laughs> Happens to me, doesn't make you a bad person. I'm going to turn this around and look at it this way. Oh, I'm a little uphill on that one, aren't I? Uh, just noticed that. Oh, well. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell. We'll slap her down there and see what happens. Whenever I stop talking like that, I haven't had a stroke. I'm just trying to read the chat. All right. Is that where you're going to go? Cover up that little bit of orange on that tape there, maybe. Make that pop a little bit more. Hey, Tiffany. Oh, <laughs> you're getting a Hobby Lobby. Uh, yep. That's enough to give him a stroke. Bless his heart. Okay, you know what I need? I know what I need. I need some black and white is what I need. And do I want to take this and cut it up in stripes? Do I want some of this? The answer is yes. I show you. Some of these, this was on a stencil that went bad, but I got some of that Jane Davies, um, Oh, question, question. What do we got? But you have to use two after the cube. Oh. That one's not thick enough. Not thick enough. 
That one's got more on it. I can use that. Needs a little black and white pop in there, I do believe. And I think I might even throw in a little bit of my stamps that I printed on here. I have to see. I don't remember where I printed these or if they're um, laser jet or inkjet because inkjet will not be happy about the matte medium. <laughs> the, yeah, it's called pictograph. That paper you're talking about, that's pictograph. That's what I was inspired to do my that next set of stamps with, was that um, that sort of design. I love that tribal kind of look to stuff. And I um, I'll show you. Where the hell are they? Here they are. Here's, I was playing with my new set that's going to be out later in July. But see, these I kind of was inspired by those and kind of drew my own. So there's the next set of stamps. Coming to a Etsy near you soon. I tell you what, if I had to have a fussy cutting contest, I'd be laughed out of the joint. <laughs> my, I need to improve my scissor skills or my hand eye coordination or something. I'm telling you, it's not the greatest. Doesn't make me a bad person. Uh, Jim, I will announce on Facebook when I can uh, put the pre-order out on Etsy. I'm going to take them to um, Create in New Jersey uh, in a couple weeks. Ah! Put that one off the edge. And um, I have some on order for, for that show. And then when I get back from there, if I have any left, I'll put them up. If I don't, I'll place another order and we'll have them in a few days. But... Um, I'm waiting for that first order to come in for the show. And after that, I will be happy to put them out there. How do you like your other ones that you got, Jim? Do you, have you used those? I'd love to see what you guys are doing with the stamps and stencils of mine. Pam. This, I know this is on, I printed this upstairs on my little cheap uh, inkjet. So this will smear uh, at the drop of a hat, but I'm going to try to very carefully work it in because I love that look of the black and white stripes, that stark black and white makes everything really pop. In my humble opinion. Like, what the hell do I know, right? I got this one at Dick Blick, too. That's pretty cool. I might get a little of that zhuzhed, zhuzhed in there at some point. And then I got this stuff for a top layer. I'll go back to that. What the hell is that in my hand here? Okay. Alrighty. Let me add a little bit of this in here. That'll bring it to life a little bit more, I believe. I know, I know, Jim. 5,000 sheets of that stuff. I know, I shared some of my boxes with uh, a couple of my local friends here. And I shipped a box to Jean in Canada. Um... 
but um it'll last you yeah, that's for sure but it's nice deli paper though i like it without having the folds in it and there's another brand that has the folds and it has a, like a white on white stripe through it which i don't like that either the scribble tool you mean this stuff Jerry, you mean this stuff here? If this is what you mean, this is Jean Davies' um, technique of putting um, black 3D tulip paint um, all over uh, a piece of acetate and then let it set up overnight and dry and then come back with a thick um, layer of matte medium. And then you can peel it off in sheets. But trust me, do not let it stick to itself because once it does, <laughs> it's poignant. Forever there. I've had to ball up a few of them and just chuck them because they were <laughs> a little past the point of being revived. Yeah, where do you live, Miko? Are you in the U.S.? Oh, Lord. I just looked under the table and I was throwing trash in my trash can and missed it's laying on Babe's back. <laughs> that goober, I'm telling you. Let's see. Where do I want to go here? I need to do something. Let me bring that one down here. Where the hell's there? Jim. I, I'm just totally winging this. I um, had nothing in mind and sometimes that's when I do the best stuff. <laughs> I kind of like the black, the black sometimes to divide the divide different sections sort of oh yeah thanks Jerry for putting that out there I love Jane Davies I'm taking in October when I go to Virginia Beach to um, what is that art and soul I will I'm taking a couple of her classes there Oh, hell, I don't know. Let's just start slapping one down. I could play with that all night. <laughs> Let's go. Time's a-wasting, people. Make a decision, woman. Oh, look. Crap, it's stuck to the page. All right, let me just let you stay there permanently, maybe. It's getting a little sticky there. One down. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? Let me work on my little... Right here's one of my palettes. Let me work on that with this stuff. That might be the way to go. Alright, where are you going to go, my little gem? Where will I put you? Nope. I don't know. Something makes me want to do that. So I'm going to do it. Now, I'll show you my little trick. Because this is on inkjet paper. It's not really a trick. It's just what I do so I don't really muck it up. Because this will run with the, the, the uh, matte medium on there. So instead of going up and down to put a top layer on there, I go across. So I try to keep the white with the white and the black with the black. And then you kind of don't notice if it runs as much. If I were to go up and down, I'd get gray streaks through that white. And if I do it too much here, I'll get them this way too. But it's, it seems like that's the lesser of the evils is to do it that way. 
Maybe I should come over here with this one like this. This is a little funky in there. Perhaps I will. Question, what glue are you using? Um, it's just a Utrecht matte medium. It's just the big one from Utrecht. I never used it before, but I saw Jane Davies using it. And I thought, if it's good enough for Jane, I should probably be trying it. Maybe this way. Maybe I'll let that orange edge show there. Totally talking to myself. <laughs> Doesn't make me a bad person. Did I miss a question? When I'm thinking about doing this, I get kind of brain locked sometimes. Don't forget you guys are there. <laughs> Can any of you tell us where to find out ahead of time about these classes? Yeah, um, Jim, there's there's um, a couple retreats that happen several times a year. Um, one of them is called Create art retreat and it's put on by interweave the people that do uh cloth paper scissors and inter the whole interweave thing is is who sponsors that they do one i'm going to the one in new jersey um i forget where all they have them if you guys you but you can look it up it's create art retreat and there's another one called art and soul and that one is uh just um that one's in, in Virginia Beach, and it's in Portland. Um, um, where the hell else is it? Maybe Texas? No, that doesn't seem right. I forget where it is. It's like four different places a, a year, but I go to the one in Virginia Beach. So that's, that's two of them that I know happen. There's another one that's called Art Is You. Um, it's supposed to be a really nice retreat, but it's the timing has always not worked for me, and it's a little more on the expensive side. Um, and uh, but people say that it is a, a phenomenal retreat. That it's very you're very pampered and taken care of while you're there. I've heard. Hmm. Nothing's grabbing me with that right now. But something going to grab me right there, I think. Oh, look at you. I think you belong right there. Now, the question is, if I painted that with the black and white to not smear, how will I get this circle not to smear? <laughs> We're about to find out, so hang on to your hats, people. I want that to overlap right there. We'll go in a circle. That's what we'll do. Hope for the best. Give me another one. It's going to come right on off that edge. Okay, let's see, what else am I doing here? Let me have another, another little something here. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there I go humming again. Woof. There's um, Jody Ole is doing a small retreat. Um, it's on Ocracoke Island. And she's, she did the first one in May, and the next one's going to be in October. Um, but it's really limited registration, um, from what I understand. But um, I used to, in a previous life, spent a lot of time in Hatteras. My ex-husband and I had a, um, had a sport fishing boat, and we went uh, from Fredericksburg, Virginia. We went there every weekend, and we went diving on the shipwrecks, and... We went uh, fishing in the Gulf Stream, depending on what crew we had with us coming down to meet us, either fishermen or divers. And then that's what we did. But we went every week for years, every weekend for years. And um, it's beautiful down there. I love it. Love Hatteras. And that's the island right above Ocracoke. And I've been to Ocracoke many times, just going over there for the day if we get blown out or something. That looks too matchy-matchy there, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, what am I going to do with you, little paper? Right in the middle. There you go. Make a decision. another piece of that tape down um every once in a while there's um a man jumps in there jim um it, it is mostly women that go to those things though i gotta tell you i think i think some of the men are afraid just saying not that you are but i'm just saying Mm -hmm. Oh, Dana, whereabouts did he live? Now, I used to know all the boat captains down there and Napa Valley. Yep, Jim's in Napa. That's beautiful. I was there once in a previous life as well. Sounds like I got around in my previous life, doesn't it? <laughs> no? Too much? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. Orange. Where was I going to put that one? I had it in my head where I was going to put this. I think right there. To kind of... Maybe I'll go over that black. Do I want to go over that black? Break that up a little bit. Maybe I will. That's already adhesive on the back. I'm just going to put a little matte medium on the front to seal it a little bit better. Oh, yeah, the Scrapbook Ex Expo. That's another one that they have classes at. Oh, so here's the easy place where it was split on the big label. 
Let's see. Where are you going, lovely? Right there. Is that where you want to go? Is that where you want to live? No? Yes? Maybe? Eh, what the hell. Let's put you right there. Needs a little brightening up down here in the bottom somewhere. Come on. There we go. Oh, another one that's... Oh, yeah, it was on the same sheet. Hello. Um. <laughs> I'm going to get too symmetrical. Let's do that for now. Needs a little brightening up down here, I do believe. Oh, rascal looked that up on me. All right, I'm going to cut these edges off of here where I've gone over. the dryer for just a second with the heat gun um, gives me time to think and fake you out <laughs> Gary Reef I don't know Gary Reef what does he do Eileen I've never heard his name before. Does he do does he do YouTube videos? <laughs> 